Amen. Love, love, love. Amen. Amen. Do you know what love is? Love is an island surrounded by expenses. Hello. Open your Bible now, please, to the book of First Kings, chapter eighteen. Thank you, Chorus. What a beautiful number. Thank you, Brother Alfredo, Mercia, and uh, the Deaf Ministry for preparing that. We are grateful to the Lord for our Bible students learning the Deaf uh, Sign Language. When Babius was here, he learned sign language. You know the sign language Babius learned? <laughs> Amen? Like that. Sleep. Tugnao. You have to learn some sign language. First Kings 18, everybody standing please. We are going to read from verses 1 to 15. We are going to read responsibly, okay? Chapter 18, verses 1 to 15. The Bible says, And it came to pass after many days, that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. And Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go into the land, and to all fountains of water, and unto all brooks, Wherever you may find grass, save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided the land between them, passed about it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him, met him, and he knew him and fell down his face. And said, Art thou that my Lord Elijah? He answered me, I am. Oh, God, thy Lord. Oh, God, thy Lord. And he said, What have I seen that thou wouldest deliver thy servant unto the hand of Ahab to slay me? The Lord thy God given it. There is no nation or kingdom that my Lord hath not sent to seek thee. When they had said, And now thou sayest, Go, tell my Lord, behold, Elijah is here. As soon as I am gone from thee, that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry me whither I go not. And so when I come and tell Ahab, he cannot find thee, he shall slay me. But I, thy servant, fear the Lord from my youth. Was it that told my Lord what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord? How I hid an hundred men of the Lord, prophet, the Lord's prophets, by fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. And now thou sayest, Go, the Lord, the Lord, the here, and he shall slay me. Together, verse 15. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, with whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. Father, we thank you. For this blessed word, and we are we are grateful to you for allowing us to see a miracle that happens here, and the power of the the power of the Holy Spirit being shown, and Lord in the with the man Elijah, and I thank you for a man like him. May you help us to understand that we too, as Christians, we have the opportunity to stand to the truth, to stand in the Lord in the Lord Jesus Christ, and to make Him known to all men. Bless this service today. Bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Be seated. This, mo this evening I'm going to speak on the subject. Don't sit on the fence. Don't sit on the fence. Don't be a fence sitter. 
Don't sit on the fence. Don't sit in the borderline. Don't sit in the middle. You're either on the right or on the left, but not in the middle. The last time the king Ahab met Elijah was when Elijah, the strange man from Gilead, entered the king's palace in Samaria and delivered one of the shortest messages that Ahab heard. What was the message? Chapter 17, 1 Kings and verse number 1. The message is, As the Lord liveth before whom I stand. By the way, we stand before the Lord. We stand before the Lord. Elijah said, As the Lord liveth before whom I stand. Whatever we do as Christians, we do it because of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Look at that. Elijah, what Elijah was saying the word of God in his power, in the authority of the Lord, but in his power as the power of the Holy Spirit is in him. Then what happened? Elijah disappeared. He gave a message to Ahab and he just disappeared. They could not find him. The strange man. The shortest message that King Ahab had received. Only one sentence. And for three, three years, the weather report was the same. No clouds in the sky. Sunshine all the time. No rain, no dew. The same for three years. Can you imagine that? As a result of that weather report, for three years, the same thing. Grasses dried up. There was no water. The animals were dying. No grass. No grass, no animals. No grass, no animals. And by the way, somebody said to, somebody said to me one day, you know, in Australia, it's very, very, it's, it's a miracle. They feed the cow green grass. And then they milk the cow white milk. Then they cook the milk yellow. That's a miracle. But this time there is no such thing. No grass, no animals. Are you listening? Listen carefully. If God says there is no water, there is no water. Now, if you, if you think about this story, Ahab was looking for an answer to his problem. Three years, no grass, no water, no rain for three years. He was trying to find the answer, but he knows the answer. There are many people like that. They look for the answer, but they really know the answer. Problems, problem makers know the answer of their problem. And they have knew that the reason why there is drought is because of him worshipping to Baal. And it's of the true and the living God. If you want real blessings in life, don't worship Baal. Don't worship Mary. Don't worship Santo. Ninyo. Ayaw mo worship Ana. Kinulit lang na. Gipalit lang na. Giinstallment lang na. Buy one, take one. Tiyan mo ang Diyos, buy one, take one. Ang atong Diyos, dili baligya. <clears throat> Nakapalit na po kayo, kamuog tinood ka Diyos? Wala. The God that we serve, the God of Israel is the God of Bible Baptist Church. And we are not, we are not buying our God. And here is the message. And of all things, the king was very angry. 
He could not find Elijah. He was very upset. He could not find him anywhere, wherever they go. And the drought was getting worse. No water. No water. If you have a gallon of water, that's a possession like gold. During the Odet, do not need to Samu sa Opra, na sa one liter of, di- of diesel. Gibali, kanang uh, diesel is pila, 57? 57 pesos. Gibali, yan ang 150 pesos. Tanawa na. Tanawa naman, wapay gasolina. Napugos o palit ang mga tao. 150. Kining panahuna, oh. Tanawa, why too big? <coughs> Pwerteng lisura kini why too big, oy. Kinang magabihim, uhaw ko, lisud gaya kong why too big. One time, pag ino, pag abinaw sa kuman, agoy, lubog kayo ang among too big. Yun ni time, udet, lubog ang tubig na mo ang gripo sa gripo di ka kainom kung saan mo na kay uhaw ka naghulat ko gamayo inom, pag tapos inom ko itong sa ibabaw huwag mo kong mamatay buhi pa ko no buhi pa but three years nothing and King Ahab was helpless. No matter how many prayers he would, he would give to Baal, Baal could not answer. The door was shut. The, 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 the heaven was shut. No answer from Baal. Three things in this message. Number one, the command of God to Elijah. Number one, the command of God to Elijah is in verse number one. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Now, three years, no water. Now God commands him, I will send rain on the earth. If there is going to be rain, if there is going to be blessing, it will be because God made it so. Do not ever think that your blessing came to you by accident. No. If God has blessed you, pasalamatang adunay blessing, gi ka na sa ginoo. Ayaw, gi ka na gi ka na sa akong son-in-law. One time, si Padre Sudi Lumantas, ang, ang, asa ni, 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 kwan? Nair. Ang kolo. Si Sudi Lumantas naghatag siya og manok sa iyang mother-in-law. Ingon sa iyang mother-in-law, Doon, ikaw ragyo, ikinagwapo nga akong son-in-law. Ingon si Sudi, na, kung ako ikinagwapohan, kung saan naman kakitong akong mga bilang. Mamukitawa kayo, hindi mo mong kasabutan eh. <laughs> Mayroon hindi mo kasabutan kayo. Ambot lang. Niingon si Yusod eh. Na! Ako'y kinagwapuhan. Ambot lang. <laughs> Ako'y pastila na. No? Usahin mga kainom na ako ng, ng istorya ha. Tuwang gabi eh. Mukatawa ako sa ako. Ako lang. <laughs> Text. Once may imong cellphone, ingin siya nga, Aw, Apple. Apple ba? Apple. Diba? Ikaw kwan, tikya. Awa ko, Siri. Full of fruits ba? Oh. Ikaw dahil lang, so, sa may imong cellphone. Ako, rambutan. <laughs> and, and Elijah met Ahab and he said this, 
Ahab said to Elijah, and, and, and Ahab said, Hello, troublemaker, art thou he that troubles Israel? Mga Yesuon, pamina mo, Elijah was not the troublemaker. The one who is causing trouble is Ahab. And he knows that. Pero giblame niya si, eh, si Elijah nga siya ang troublemaker. Now I tell you this, if you are a Christian, you are not the troublemaker. You are not. We are not the problem in the world today. La, uh, every year, all over the world, there are 497,000 murders being made. Every year. This was... This was in this was in 2014 report. And can you imagine every year you see murders like this? Problems all over the world. But my friend, if you are a Christian, you should never be a problem. You should be the solution. Amen. Don't be a problem to your wife. You should be the solution. The other day, isang asawa nga, niadun na lang sa polis kay, ang iyong ba na, lain na mga babae, tarawa na. Maminyo mo, mangita ka mong laing babae. Minyo na, nangita pag lalaing babae. Is that a problem? Sure. And my friend, if the world comes to the church, we have a problem. But if the church goes to the world, that's God's way. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy fathers, because ye have forsaken the true and the living God, and thou hast followed Bealim. Now therefore, verse 19, say, say, now therefore send, gather and gather to me all Israel and to Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of, uh, of Jezebel, 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. You say, why Carmel? Number one, if you control Carmel, you control the spiritual worship of Israel. If you, have, if you control Carmel, you have a military advantage. Number three, if you control Carmel, then you have a direction from anywhere, north, south, east, west. The view is beautiful in Mount Carmel, the highest mountain. Elijah said, bring all your prophets. Can you imagine he was the only one? It was very easy for Elijah to be afraid. He was, or he was alone. But my brother said carefully, he said, I stand before God. I stand before God. Elijah. Then in 1 Kings 18, 21, Elijah came unto the, unto the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. If Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. In other words, Elijah was saying to the people, don't be a fence-sitter. Folks, if you walk with God, you cannot run with the devil. You are there for God or against God. Are you saved this evening? Yes. Then you are for God. You, you just make, you have to decide. I'm up for God. I'm going by the grace of the Lord. I will live right. I'm not, and sometimes, you know, we are Christians and we allow ourselves to be dominated by the world and all the wickedness of the world and all the things like that. Usahay kini mga Kristohano, mudim dim pa. Ang tao mudim dim, mudum dum na. Ayaw yun mudim dim. If you are for God, be with God. Are you happy you are saved? Then, if you are saved, stay with, with God. 
we are having a prayer meeting in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the office today, and we were saying, folks, listen carefully. The blessings in the mountain barangays is something we are now in the stage where we're going to establish chapels. We have so many people saved in the barangays. And when Pastor Kent brought the idea to all of us one time before, we didn't we say mountain barangays. But my friend, look at what happened today. Some of you do not enjoy anything of that. Why? You are not there. Kinahanglan mag-apil mo. Kung doon mo yung sakyanan, gamita ang sakyanan. Kay kulang mig sakyanan. Oo. Oh. Dili kulang mig. Kay wama ko dito. Kamu. Wama mo yung sakyanan. And I tell you, this is something that, that hey, Elijah said, don't sit, don't sit on the fence. You know, the greatest plague that we are facing today is people who cannot decide where they belong. And if you, I, I'll tell you, if you're not, if you're not careful, you're going to, to be confused if you, you do not make a decision. Where you belong. The greatest plague. I am glad I'm... Look, look with me in Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30. Look at that. Just one verse. I want you to read this with me because I want you to get the gist of this verse. Verse 19. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Ready? Go. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and what? Cursing. Therefore, choose life. There is a choice. And when you make the choice, make it a real choice that will glorify God. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Elijah said, make up your mind. Ingon sa tong estudyante sa sa tagabakulod, what is your decide? <laughs> Are you decide? Para <laughs> mag-ining mag-English ka na niya mag magran ka for governor. <laughs> what is your decide? Hey, make up your mind this evening. If God has blessed you, Make up your mind. I told you earlier, your blessing is not an accident. It was an intentional flow of blessing to you from God. And God is saying, you have, you have my favor. I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you. And stay with the Lord. Be faithful. Dili nga kuripot ka. Dili nga... Kanang kuripot lagi. Hakog. Hak. Kinang dilit hakog. Share the blessings. Kini ako ni, ako ni, ako ni, ako ni, wa, giyod ka, giyod. You have nothing in your life if God did not give it to you. Kanang emong sinina, emo na. Ako ni, di, sa ginoon na. Kana imong kagwapa. Imo na. Ako ni. Kana imong alang-alang nga naong. <laughs> na may mga naong nga alang-alang. Na ay gwapo, na ay gwapa, na ay batik naong. Kamo mga gwapo, magpasalamat kamo nga dunay batik naong. Kay kung way batik naong, di mo gwapo. Di you know di? Oh, mo masabot ani. Di ta, di ta mo gaway kay misong pato guapuhan na bagay, guapo. Dagham bugas guapo. Ayaw na lang tao. Hmm. Make up your mind. 
Decide tonight. Number two, not only the command of God to Elijah, number two, the combat for God against falsehood. Pulting daghang falsehood karon. Akong gibasa ang binisaya sa kining mga santos. The, the word that I gathered from all of these uh, paragraphs, there were about siguro mga seven paragraphs. The book of Isaiah, the book of Jeremiah, in Habakkuk, like that, and all of that. And in the book of Psalms, all of that. You know what I, did? I, I, have, I have gathered? One word, limbong. Tinood na. Kanang mga relihiyon ina na purus na limbong. Hmm. Limbong, we have a fight. The forces of evil is sweeping the world today. And I will tell you, religions, religious cults are on the road talking to people about their false doctrine. Some are selling their books about their doctrine. And my friend, listen carefully. One time there were, there were, there were, uh, can I do it? Mormons, Mormons. They came to, they visited me. Hello, sir, can I talk to you? I said, sure. And they talked to me. I let them talk for a while. And I said, you mean you are working for your salvation? He said, yes, sir. Can I give you a verse? And he said, yeah. And I said, for by grace are you saved through faith, and the not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Oh, salvation is the gift of God. Not of works. Why do you have to work? God says, don't work. You just receive the gift. Mm. Listen, if you go to heaven because of your good works, you know what you say? <laughs> Look at me, I'm here. Because of good works. Tagatiya. Tagatag bilarani. Ikaw, ikaw dong, tagal na. Taga albur, taga buhul gihapon. <laughs> and these people are coming in every day. Hey, wickedness is sweeping the, Lord, the world. In April 22, 2014, Joseph Magos, remember of our church? I don't know if you remember Joseph. Joseph was a driver, taxi driver in Cebu City. And he came to my office one day and he said to me, Pastor, I will just tell you this. Last night, prostitutes rode, took my taxi and they were making immoral advances to me. Two to three in the morning, look at that. I wrote it here. Sometimes drunk passengers will ride the taxi and they will go out, no pay. They do not pay. That's why if you are a Christian, the Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about whom he may devour. He is looking for people to devour. Don't be devoured by wickedness. Stay away from temptation. If there is temptation, how close you are. If you know there is temptation, get out. Get out. Go away. When we were little, Nari Candila and Ma, there is a good ma. Tanao ma, oh. Na ay kalayo, pero di good kumukuan, oh. Ago sa katugwe yung sigyo ka na ana, ago naluto ni, oh. Kung gana na, hindi mo ragawa. Kausa ka lang, okay lang. Pero kung sige kagbalik-balik, ana, maadubo ng imong tudlo. The greatest character I, I know in the Bible that I like, like as Pastor Ken said, Joseph. Ti amo nang giimbitar siya sa... I don't think that Mrs. Putifar was a... Was a uh, uh, he, she's not a 
in an ugly lady. I think she is a quality lady. Nga naman, hiniral po ng iyang bana. Hiniral. She is be very pretty. You know what he said to Joseph? Come lie with me. Ti am nang imbitaro kay nana. When something happens like that, what will you do? Get out of something like that and he ran away. He ran away. He left his jacket. Mas maayo nga na nga nabilin ang ilang jacket, wala makuha ang iyang character. Hello? He left his jacket, but his integrity was intact. I don't care how many jackets I will, I will lose. For as long as my integrity is intact. Don't sit on the fence. In 2000, still 2014, 20, 2014, in April 21, 2014, Boy Lopez, you remember Boy Lopez? Boy Lopez is our missionary before in Telmubo. Telmubo is an island of Bohol, the old Sabien Unido, and this is what happened. The Bible Baptists had evangelistic crusade in the middle of the land. There are only 300 people in the island. And they had evangelistic crusade. They call it evangelistic crusade. Instead of saying evangel evangelistic meeting, crusade you 300 katawo all over the island. And... Uh, <clears throat> Many people came forward during the invitation. They got saved. Most of them are ugly pions. Ugly pions. The head of the ugly pion went to the barangay captain, who was a PBMA, na kumplain siya ng akining mga baptist dere, ngagi panguluhan ni Boy Lopez sa Telmubo, gipanguha ang among membro. Mga isuon kung nag, nag, nagdawat ang, ang tao sa, wa ni mo na kuha, ah. Nagdawat na sa ginoo. Usahay kini mga pastor mag-away. Kaya nag-attend diri ang iyang member. Nga nung giapati ni mo. Usahaw man ni mo, papauli yun ni mo yung member nga, nangita o, nangita o guan? Minsahing mayo? Hello? Di lita mang imbitar kit naghanatong tao diri mang mang ani diri nga wanda sa imbitar ra. Nya sa ona nimo. Sa ada ni mo na. Ingon tong tong tao nga isa nga ako judge. Wala ako mangawat og kabaw. Insa ang akong gikawat PC. Pero sa sige na ko bira og PC. Dito sa tumoy sa PC. May kabaw. Pero wa na ako kawata ang kabaw. E ako sa man isang gikawat ang kabaw. E isa, judge, wa ako mangawat ang kabaw. Ang akong kuharagod, pisi aragod. Dismiss. <laughs> Kaya huwag niya kuha ang kabaw, pisi raman. Pero kaya-accuse siya nga nangawat ang kabaw. May isaon, kining atong ta. Oh, sorry, they went to the barangay captain. PBMA. Ang nag-accuse aglipayan, ang nag-accuse baptist, nasa dila. Ingon sa barangay captain, kining atong problema, gamay ra ni. Gamay ra man ta din sa isla. 300 lang takabok din sa kwan. Ayaw na lang tag-away, total kining atong religion, tumutumo ra man ni. Mga kaisun, and I will tell you this evening, kining atong gibarugan, dili ni tumutomo. Wat na magtumutomo. Why post nga ni ata din nga magtumutomo? Si Brother Rafi, maglidog singing nga, Brad, tumutomo na nga mo singing? Pastor Kent, magwali, tumutomo? Ma'am Bebet, ma'am Bebet. Oh, mag-play o piano, tumutomo na. 
Ayaw na, tumutumuro mo ni nga ito ba? Tia mo ng PBMA, barangay captain, tumutumu ko rin sila. Hey, listen carefully. Dili ni tumutumu. Don't set an offense. We are fighting falsehood. Here's what happened. Chapter 18. Tanaw, tanaw mo, tanaw. Chapter 18. Balik ta. And verse number 22. He says, "Sir, morning na, morning ni, pites na ni, combat na ni." Then said Elijah unto the people, "I will I only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's four hundred fifty men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Let them choose one, cut them in pieces, lay it in the wood, put no fire under it. I will dress the other bullock and lay it on the wood." Verse twenty-four, and call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God that answers by fire, let him be God. Hindul kayo niyo, hindul kayo niyo po minaw mo po minaw po kayo. Exciting ni. And all the people answered, said, "It is well spoken." Alam mo na? Oh. And Elijah said unto the prophets. Choose you one bottle for yourselves and dress it first, for ye are many. And call on the name of your gods and put no fire on it. And they took the bottle which was given them and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, "Morning upon la, O Baal, hear us!" But there was no voice nor any that answered, and they lived. They jumped upon the altar which was made, and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, "Cry aloud! He is he is a god. I, either he is talking, or is pursuing, or in a journey, or peradventure he is sleeping. He must." Tiyam. Gikan sa buntag hangtod sa auto, they were sleeping themselves. And look at this, oh! They cry. Verse twenty-eight. They cried aloud and cut themselves with all manner of knives and lances till the blood. Tiya mong they were shouting. Gipang gaan na pa gipang nagkuan yung dugo. Gisamara niya lai lang ka ugalingon. Tiya mo na ako mag magsamat taka ugalingon dito sa ato karon. Puting dugo adrio. Pagdunit na lang tasa kuan Red Cross. And this is what they did. And they cried, and they cried, and they cried, and it came to pass when midday was passed, and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice nor answer, nor to answer or any that regarded. Look at verse number thirty. You know what Elijah said? He said unto all the people, "Come near to me." Padul mong tanan diri, padul mo. He repaired the altar that was broken by the Baal worshippers. He took twelve stones representing the twelve tribes of Israel. Gibutang niya ang wood, gibutang niya ang sacrifice, gibutang niya ang kanang das, gibutang niya ang stone. Ingus ba ingus niya nga? There in verse number thirty-three, he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood. And and he said, fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood and uh, uh, do it second time. And then in verse number verse number uh, uh, verse number thirty-four, the last part, and they did it the third time. First time, second time, third time, and the water ran round about the, of the about the altar, and it filled the trench also with water. You know what happened? You know what happened? Here's what happened: the water was there; it's all water, and uh, it it uh, it uh, it uh, uh, the water was over the over the sacrifice, and there was plenty of water, and they filled. Uh, what is it? Three, four barrels times three, twelve barrels good. 
So the trench was wet, filled with water. You know what trench is? Ditch. Kanang ditch ba? Say ditch canal. Kanang canal. Hmm. Ang trench was filled with water. The sacrifice was filled with water. The wood was wet. The stones, the dust, everything. Twelve barrels. Twelve barrels. Until the altar, the whole thing, even the wood. Why is it that Elijah was doing this? Because, because he knows that God is going to fulfill his promise. Are you listening? God promised fire. He is going to answer your prayer for fire. Which means if you will return to him, he will not forsake you. Which means that God's always ready to fulfill his covenant. God is going to fulfill his covenant. You may fail. I may fail. Pastor Kent, Rafi will fail. We may all, but my friend, God will never fail. <laughs> After the altar was completely repaired, Elijah stepped in and he prayed. You know how many words? 63. The prophets of Baal, from morning until noontime, they were praying, shouting, jumping, and cutting themselves. No answer. But Elijah said, come near, and then he prayed. Here's what he said. Verse 36. Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel. By the way, the God that we serve is the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. We have no other God. Let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am your servant. Morning prayer. And that I have done all these things at thy word. Look at that. When you do anything, you do it at the word of God. Don't do it because your wife told you. Don't do it because your husband told you. Don't do it because your boss told you. Do it because God told you. Verse 37. Hear me, O Lord. Hear me that these people may know that thou art God and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Lord, answer me. No screaming, no shouting, no dancing, no cutting. They prayed as loud as they can to the fact that, but they had no, no answer. But when God answered Elijah, God answered completely so there could never be any doubt. The fire consumed the sacrifice. Amen? The fire consumed the wood. The fire consumed the water in the drains. The fire consumed the rocks and the dust. And when God answered his prayers by fire, three things happened. Number one, the people finally opened their eyes and they, feel, they fell onto the ground and cried, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. Say it. The Lord, He is God. <coughs> The Lord, He is God. Say it. The Lord, He is God. Louder. The Lord, He is God. Louder. The Lord, He is God. Fire. Water. Fire. Wood. Sacrifice. Dust. Stone. Trains. Fire. 
God answered by fire. He is God. Therefore, because He is God, we need to follow Him. My own 1969, on a Wednesday, Bob used preach. I came forward. I was on medical practice during the time. And when I was in the altar there, I was kneeling down. I was telling the Lord, Ngan, ako mang yun, imong gitawa nga, purting dahan trabaho na ko. Gino, hinaot pang imong tagon ka ng mga white trabaho, diri sa Bible Baptist Church, purting dahan na, diri. Later on, I found out, nga dili mo tawag ang gino o white trabaho. Nga naman, Pastor, kay buot pa sa buot niya na tapulan. Dili mo tawag ang ginoog tapulan. Kaya nang sige nagpadakugtiyan, sige nagkaon, sige nagpakusko sa likod sa iyong asawa, kay katol. Tapulan na. Tinood yun, kining mga kugihan, mauna itaw gun. Mm. Kamong wa mo'y wa mo'y trabaho, adi mo tao gun. Kini si Brother Ruben, mamping, kugihan ni. Wa ko may mga tao gun, pero basi ba? <laughs> Kay kugihan naman. Nais ba din si Bunga? Brother si Bunga, kugihan ni, kugihan. Kaya wa ko makaibaw, pero kag kugihan man. Kaya mo man ay tao gun sa ginoo. But kini ba si Louis Hikat? Ha? Kini, kugihan man eh. Ako ka na. Why siguro ni? Folks, listen. If you are a Christian, you are a champion. We are standing in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to celebrate our 65th anniversary in April, April 10. Magkaisoon pa salamat up for 65 years. Ang ginoo nagmatuto kada o sa nato. I have been here for since 19. Dito pa. Si Mami nagmabdus kay Arlie. 1961, dito pa sa Mangguabe nyo, ka ng Fudarama, na adiha. Nabalin kami diha sa parian, sa nang, fa, nang fire department, na adiha kay Juan. Pagkatapos, nakapalita diha, lang tipahit, 3 de Abril, 517, 3 de Abril, na ata nagdugay. Pagkahuman na na, wanay kabutang ng mga tao, mauna ni, Mauna ni kita. Mauna ni mga tao. Tao ba ta? Amen. 65 years. And my friend, I don't know how long we are going to stay. Inigbalik sa ginoo, ayaw na nagkatinga. Kaya inigbalik sa ginoo, He will come as a thief in the night. Why makaibaw? Wag yun. Muna ang atong imon, andam yun tag yun. The Lord, He is God. Say it. The Lord, He is God. One more time. The Lord, He is God. Louder. The Lord, He is God. Heavenly.